continue and <clears throat> okay you're ready to go hi good morning and good afternoon from the united states i am jason villarreal and i will be your co-host for today's presentation along with my counterpart mr tim sharp so hi, with me hi, today hi. how you doing with me today is tim sharp he is the senior director of product management um, he focuses on aspen enterprise insights here at aspen tech tim has 25 years of experience in the industrial it working world in highly scalable cloud and internet solutions for oil and gas upstream downstream he was the ceo of sabisu which is now called aspen enterprise insights um, once again, my name is Jason Villarreal, and I'll be today's moderator for our discussion. Uh, I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager for Aspen Enterprise Insights here at Aspen Tech. Um, I have over 15 years of experience providing solutions to customers in oil and gas and the technology industries. So thank you, Tim, for being a part of today's discussion. Pleasure. Look forward to it, Jason. All right. So again, I appreciate everyone on the call for joining us today. I would like to start off by setting the table for today's discussion. So as you can see here on the screen, we're going to be talking about the market challenges and trends. We'll talk about the self-optimizing plant and the, the newly created AI, AIoT hub. Then we'll go into what was just released in Aspitex V12 release, um, including a new set of products called product extensions. And then we'll wrap up with a product demo with the use cases delivering uh, delivered by Tim. So before we get started, I want to make sure that we show the screen. This is uh, the Aspen Tech disclaimer. Along with exploring Aspen Tech Enterprise Insights product, we'll be talking about forward looking topics as well. So please understand that any of these forward looking topics, products are just vision and are not on a roadmap commitment. So to help further identify areas describing the vision, the presentation that you're about to see identifies the vision related slides with a tag, tag of vision on the top right hand corner. So what is this? We have a strategy and a solution to enable our customers success both today and in the future. You know, we can help customers navigate the extreme market vol volatility that face that they that you face in the short term. You know, we are also a partner for the future. Our ambition is to help accelerate our customers' digitalization's journey to become more agile and more uh, and more successful businesses. We are enabling AI in our solutions so that you don't have to. We're taking the perspective of the persuasive data from across your processes and assets, understanding what is needed when they're able to effectively apply a combination of data insights, domain expertise to deliver the insights proactive guidance for better decision making and asset wide workflow automation to transform how work is being done and elevate the operational efficiencies that can be gained. We call this the industrial AI. Democratizing is not just about access, but actual applications of AI in industrial context. So around fit for purpose, domain specific AI enabled industrial applications, uh, which are focused on outcomes and sustainable business values. And at the enterprise level, there are many self-optimizing plants and assets which interact with the increasing intelligence enterprise value chain. You know, the enterprise value chain will become the self-optimizing balancing supply and demand across multiple plants for maximum results. The technology enablers that will drive to this level of autonomy and self-optimizing capabilities will be the following four areas. The industrial AI, which is providing insights, guidance, and automation. The collaboration, 
breaking down those silos and connecting workflows and processes across functions. Third, the user experience. Through design and automation, it simplifies the experience for non-experts. And lastly, and probably the most important, cloud. You know, provide flexible deployment options that meet your needs now and in the future. And this AI infrastructure and the newly created AIoT Hub is a new business unit here at Aspen Tech. The AIoT Hub is an industrial AI infrastructure and the foundation of our digital reference architecture, which will enable us to realize our vision for the self-optimizing plant. The AIoT Hub is our cloud-ready industrial AI infrastructure providing data, data mobility by leveraging the cloud and the historian software here within Aspen Tech's portfolio, which is the A, uh, IP21, M, uh, MMDM, and APRM. You know, our applications and solutions will leverage the AIoT hub to enable AI and leverage the cloud for enterprise scale, similar to what I mentioned on the slide before this one. The new industrial AI applications will be developed on top of the AIoT hub, which will also host our SaaS based applications. The data that we capture from across the enterprise, from the edge to the cloud, will leverage IP21 in the new, uh, newly launched MES uh, Collaborative and the Aspen Cloud Connect to facilitate applications at enterprise scale. And for the customers who have data scientists and prefer to develop their own AI applications, they can utilize the AIoT hub through the industrial AI toolkit. And so that should have that should give you a good grounding on how we're going to uh, expand the use of the Aspen Enterprise Insights uh, product and platform. And now I'll pass it over to my colleague, Mr. Tim Sharp. Tim, are you there? <laughs> Hi, Jason. How are you doing? Good. Yourself? Um, yeah, good. Thanks. Yeah, that's that's a, that that slide you've got there is great. I mean, it it shows that the the AI uh, AIoT hub, when you can say it, is it it's it's a long term um, strategy for Aspen Tech, and it it really encapsulates um, some ex areas of existing strength, as Jason said, at IP twenty one, the MES layer, but then brings to it this whole new capability with cloud scalability and elastic compute resource, and then of course the bit we're here to talk about today at the top there. Um, insights you know so all having all these great mod this great model um, modeling and simulation capabilities these great connectivity capabilities edge compute all that capability needs to be brought to the user somehow you know and that's where insights will really come in and you will see not only insights in its purest form used as a as a you know as a, a to build solutions but as we'll talk about in a moment we're gonna have plenty of um use cases plenty of solutions that come off the shelf ready for you to implement um, and that's what that's what we're going to talk a little bit about so uh, insights you, you may have heard it mentioned but, but kind of why is it there and what are we trying to do with it well you know insights has always been about two things visualization on the one hand and, and workflow on the other and it, it's very rare um, that we that there is a single place where you can do both um, and the reason for bringing both together is that um, often um, having aggregated the data, having reported on it and, and maybe spotted trends, maybe done some root cause analysis, it, it's quite usual to then want to do something with that information. Um, we wanted to make that as seamless as possible. We wanted the user experience to be to be integrated and, and and so that instead of having to move around through different products and different environments, it would be really easy for users to not only do the root cause analysis, but then take action. And really, that, that's what the slide is about. There are really three aspects. There is the the, the performance management, which is generally oriented um, around you know the visualization analysis piece. There's the actionable insights where you are applying your domain expertise within your organization to the, the the trends and the KPIs and the and the information that is being produced from your source data. And then you have the area that is often 
ignored um, in, in this space, which is the work processes. It's no, there's no point in having these realizations. There's no point in um, understanding the nature of a problem if it is then hard to rectify that problem. So what we're really trying to do here is bring all three of those areas together into a single, um, a single software solution. So insights is is it's, it's a really it's a really smart bit of bit of software actually that and it's really devised and directed towards um customers with complex industrial industrial uh, environments um and it was it was built that way from the ground up so um you, you know uh, but why do it well the theory is that at the moment um, we see a lot of customers who spend a lot of time um, duplicating effort, uh, moving data around, moving it between different platforms, trying to manually report, you know, on, on, on for example, site performance or project performance. And we often find that um, your average plans, your average industrial site has got two or three Excel, two, two or three hundred Excel spreadsheets used to run. The organization now two or three hundred excel spreadsheets meet it's very expensive to maintain takes a lot of time to maintain and it's very hard to um to, to automate um those processes so what we're trying to do is we're trying to automate those processes as far as we can so that the folks who at the moment are spending time manually aggregating data maintaining logs manually maintaining document centric process they can be elevated in terms of how they spend their time to higher value activities so they can spend more time on analysis on decision making on as it says their oversight and compliance you know these are all high value activities compared with the the manual task of, of data aggregation and reporting so that goes not just for aggregation and reporting but also for workflow management and we're, we're really trying to um deliver into these customers um, some real um, valuable change and take them on that uh, on that journey from what is currently very manual and document centric process to well a fully digital world really um, so often we end, do end up talking about digitalization and we do end up talking to customers about how we can um, deploy insights to to digitalize some of their existing processes okay so just a, a kind of how does that break down in practice? Well, in practice, um, any data is good for insights and it, it connects um, and acquires data from almost any source. Um, I mean, some great examples there. Obviously, IP21 is good, you know, uh, as is HiSys, but, you know, uh, as is Mtel, all fantastic Aspen Tech solutions where we can leverage, um, you know, our existing domain expertise and superb products. Because um, we were obviously acquired um, by, um, by Aspen Tech, the connection to competitor systems like Pi or like Aviva is actually really important. And this is really good if you've got a customer with a kind of a, a, a mixed estate of, say, IP21 and Pi. Um, we can talk to uh, Insights can talk to either of those, um, you know, consistently bring data from lots of different sources. You know, up to um, up to the to, to the insights data lake, and therefore um, provide a way of measuring, comparing, benchmarking um, across plants, regardless of the data source. And um, those six boxes there, right in the middle, where it goes acquisition through analytics and visualization. Well, you know that those are really really key aspects, and and really they those boxes all the way through distribution action change. They really summarize the capabilities of the platform. It's all about getting the data making sense of it, generating information, and then allowing people to distribute that into their communities of like-minded users, so then they can take real valuable action on it and thus transform their business. Okay, so what we really wanted to do and, 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 and what we've succeeded in doing is, is, is creating some um, solutions that come off the shelf ready for you to implement into your, into your, um, into your customers. And this is just, a few examples. Um, so we will talk today further about cost estimating and performance reporting. Um, there are some off-the-shelf workflows that you can simply deploy into a into a into a new customer with the, the, you know with a single mouse click like risk management and action tracking comes as standard. Um, we have incident tracking and um, you know and, and things like portfolio management all there in the platform. So 
really what we wanted to do is make it as easy as possible for you to deploy inside solutions straight off the shelf and that's what we have in the library at the moment this library is we call them package solutions and the solutions library is growing all the time um, and it, it's possible um, for us to deploy new solutions into customers uh, single click or indeed to define and deploy new solutions into the estate very quickly indeed um, uh, just with simply some configuration uh, okay um, in, in terms of um, your applications, the, the tools that the Aspen Tech folks we use to create our solutions are available to you also. So you could create your own applications, maybe with your own um, you know, um, domain expertise embedded therein. Um, and it also is good for customers to create their own as well. So there's lots of opportunities here to build applications and deploy them into uh, existing customers or indeed to coach and help and support customers as they adopt insights in building their own applications. Because we do see the greatest um, scope for growth in customers that have an, um, a capability in-house for building and maintaining their own solutions and it is an open platform in that re regard you know we we welcome new solutions being created and um that's that's how customers grow best so let's talk about a little bit about v12 here it comes down coming down <laughs> coming down the track real quick um so in v12 with this great kind of I, great capability with insights that the, the, we realized there were two ways of going about it. There all there will always be customers who deploy insights because they are um, te technically mature customers. They have a great degree of, of technical capability in house and they want to just pick up insights and run with it with, a, with maybe an elevated level of support during the early days of adoption. And that's great. But for many customers, you know, and, and typically the way we engage with those customers is to focus on a single use case. So we have this um, this, like, the, the strategy based, uh, which is, is based around things called product extensions. Now, a product extension is a solution that leverages um, an existing Aspen Tech product. OK, the theory here is that Aspen Tech products are pretty much always best in class and contain significant domain expertise. So the idea is to leverage that, add value to that, you know, and allow um, customers to do more with their, with their data and with those products using insights. So that's that's what we've done. And we typically do this by focusing on one or more Aspen Tech products and we focus on the workflows that are adjacent to it. And we're helping customers replace those um, uh, document centric workflows. So there's workflows they currently have maybe in Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Word that, you know, where they're exporting data from an Aspen Tech product into a into one of these document centric workflows or executing a business process and then coming back to the Aspen Tech product. Well, we're going to try and get rid of that and, and bring all that whole process into the, the um, insights environment. So typically it does require AEI and another Aspen Tech products, and there you can see the 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 the, the V12 slated um, extension. So we have an extension to ACCE, which is um, due due in, in in V12. Also, in the latter half of the extended V12 release, we'll see supply chain um, product extension. We'll see an APM extension, and we'll see an extension based around performance management as well which will and we'll talk about these in a little bit more detail but you can see how we're taking areas where we have significant expertise and then we are putting insights into just just add further value and there's a couple of screenshots there about insights um, okay so let's 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 run through these extensions real quick now the uh, aspen capital cost estimator insights it's a really good example of extending ACCE and bringing additional reporting. So allowing comparison of estimates, benchmarking, um, you know, continual um, connectivity to ACCE. So the um, instead of manually processing ACC data into reports for things like gate reviews, all that is automated or in place already. You can quickly recall um, historical estimates. So you have a, a, you know, for comparison purposes or or to, to, to ensure that um, 
you know, getting a complete picture of uh, 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 in terms of estimating a current project. And, and it will save a whole load of time as well. Typically cost estimators, they um, are juggling multiple product uh, projects, sorry, uh, they are very um, time poor, but they are very data rich and can be quite information poor as well. And we're going to level that out by through automation to make the best use of their time and through um, the use of KPIs and benchmarks to take all that data and make it make it make it useful. So yeah, I, I, this is this has got some this 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 extension has had some really good feedback from customers. We're taking it into the first beta customers right now in preparation for V12, and they um, cost. Um, estimators, their managers, and and uh, you know up to um, projects and portfolio executives can really see value in this, and they are beginning to use it for um, projects. Uh, Insights has got a, a really good history from from all the way from small projects up to mega projects for a billion dollars plus. So yeah, it's, it's it's a good place to be right now. So the next product extension is APM Insights. You'll all be familiar with the APM. Family. Here we're really focusing in the first release of um, in V12 on MTEL. So obviously MTEL is great. Um, you all were familiar with the predictive capabilities therein. So Insights sits on top of MTEL. It will take output from MTEL agents and it will allow um, the automatic initiation of workflows, the automatic initiation of actions and advisors in response to um, agent output. And this means we have all the benchmarking and reporting um, in place that comes with insights. We have all the KPIs, we have real time alerts, and um, the, the aim is to automate those, those reports, but also automate those workflows as far as possible so that we are um, allowing customers um, to react faster to incipient um, um, critical asset issues. Um, so this is, yeah, and this again is good. So MTEL, um, extension will be there in, in V12. Um, it's looking good, going to beta customers in the next couple of weeks. Okay, SNOP planning. Okay, it's SNOP Insights, sorry. So this is really looking and, and sitting off CDM, the Collaborative Brand Manager and Supply Chain Planner. And the idea here is that um, Insights will, as with the other extensions, provided better reporting. So we have all the reporting and visualization capabilities of insights, but then we also have all the workflow capabilities. So things like demand forecasting that go around collaborative demand manager or all the supply chain processes that go around SCP, they'll be caught in insights. And that's really useful because not only do you have um, the ability to um, manage and monitor compliance with those processes, but all the soft data, all the narrative that, that, that goes into making planning decisions is captured within the platform. This means that when similar circumstances emerge, maybe um, later, so when you have maybe um, cyclical planning events, we can refer to the, that earlier information, make sure we've taken all the best lessons from that, make sure any emerging practices is caught and make sure it's taken into account in the, the, the next planning process. So the idea is just to, to automate as far as possible, um, you know, reduce the amount of time spent moving around in spreadsheets or doing doing reports outside um, Aspen Tech products and, um, you know, automate that workflow, make it more useful really. So EPM, we'll show a little bit of bit of this in a moment. Um, so enterprise performance management, and really, you know, you can see from the from the 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 products at the, at the bottom there, you know, we're extending IP21, uh, MMDM, APRM, a little bit of APC as well, which as you guys I'm sure we'll know, we'll sit, you know, APC uses Aspen Watch, which, which is an IP21 implementation anyway. And what we're doing here is we're trying to automate as far as possible the, re the retrieval of data from those systems, the combination with other enterprise data and the presentation of it to, to uh, functional managers and above. So we, uh, Enterprise Performance Management, we feel it sits right where the shift managing starts to need KP, you know, um, KPI reporting, and then it goes up through the organization all the way to the to the C-suite, really, so they can monitor production, monitor compliance, monitor um, EHSS, um, so, uh, you know, environment, health, safety, sustainability, KPIs. And, 
you know, just the visual, being able to visualize how the planet's performing and getting visibility of, of, of both um, production KPIs and production graphs, but also um, being able to get visibility of production processes. Well, it's possible to make some really big cost savings because you're actually elucidating those 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 um, those hidden inefficiencies in the organisation, making them really clear, and then taking taking action and ensuring that those, those actions are managed all the way to completion. So, um, enterprise performance management. You can see some key aspects here. You know, managing managing monitoring uh, performance a, a across multiple sites. Um, you know diagnosis and root cause analysis, it will capture actions, it will track progress against those actions, they're all caught within the platform, either in specific workflows or in general uh, genu general action tracking, which is built into the platform, and then allow you to evaluate that action plan as you as you run through it um, and, uh, and adjust, which is, you know, critical really, you know, and all that's done in a managed way, easy to report on it, easy to, to, to track it all the way to completion. So, so we have like three or four minutes. Uh, do you think we have time to do a product extension demo? Well, maybe just a, I'll, I'll just show it very briefly. I can. OK. Um, well, yeah, let's give them a sneak peek. A and sneak if peek. They have, yeah, let's give them a sneak peek. And if they're interested in it, you know, they could contact uh, Blue ESP uh, for uh, further for further information. Completely, yeah, absolutely. So, just real quick, um, I just wanted to. I, I think it's nice to see that it's that it's real. It's nice to see some of those screenshots here. Um, they, you know, they they exist in practice. You know, it's nice to just see that the you know with people going in here, leaving comments. We have, we have, we have a great deal of you know. There's notes and 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 there's all kinds of analytics built into the platform. It's a really, it's a really powerful. Um, piece of kit you see there it's running various analytics to, to show where there may be um, problems with a critical asset um, so it's nice to see that it's really there and it and it's nice to see that um, I, I think that as soon as you show something like this it's inevitable that folks will get um, ideas about how they could deploy it into their own organization I should say it you know we talk a lot about sites um, and about site reporting, it works really nicely for um, for projects as well. And if you have a portfolio of projects, there's a lot that can be done with that data. Um, you know, in terms of automated reports, traffic lighting, and so on. And you know, the workflows are all are all built in um, and and really easy to manage. Um, you know, if you it, the whole thing is very configurable, zero code, and we'd encourage really to um, get in there and, and use it. I should say also that these screens that I'm that I'm using here, they are all available in an evaluation area. Again, Blue Blue ESP will kind of connect you up with the right people, and there, we we love having people in here to evaluate and play with this. Right, this is what we do. Um, so thanks, Chase. Let's wrap it up. So takeaway, okay. Um, it it really is about um, enterprise performance management. You know, I, I, there is a reason um, why it's called enterprise in size, and that's because we. It's not just a case of giving it to a few operators or a few cost estimators. It's all about growth. It's all about the enterprise making enterprise decisions. And yes, a lot of our data sits in very, um, you know, very specific um, areas like IP21, you know, process data or cost estimate data over here, or, or, or you know, um, APC data is all very specific. But we, 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 we're aggregating that and taking it up to the enterprise. And in that regard, it's all about actionable insights, not just realizing this problem, being able to do something with it, kicking off a workflow. Um, making things better. You know, in terms of product extensions, uh, you can see where we're going with that. You know, it, it really allows you to very quickly zero in on the right roles to talk to within a customer, go and talk to the right people about really specific problems. And that's the best way to get a, to, you know, to, to, to land with insights into a customer. And, and then obviously, you know, it's about the big picture. That's why it's an enterprise pl platform. It's about weaving a, as, as Jason so rightly says there, we think a digital thread throughout the enterprise. And that's really what happens. You know, when you have your collaboration, you have your data, your visualizations, and your workflows in the same place, that digital thread is, in, is exactly what happens. We're going to make you smarter, 
and we're going to deliver a step change in productivity um, through through digital technologies, right? Well, I think you couldn't have said it any better, so I'm going to leave it on that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us today for our session. And if you have any uh, comments, uh, questions, or just want a, a deeper dive into Aspen Enterprise Insights, please reach out to Blue ES ESP and we'll set up a meeting. Thank you.